Hi, welcome to Password Kit demonstration video. First, we're going to talk about how Password Kit can find over 280 different file types and full disk encryption applications. For full detailed and updated list, you can always check our website located on the screen. However, it is important to note that Password Kit does four major releases per year, so that list is always growing and changing. Now, some very common types of supported files. First off, Office Documents, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Next, Archives, including Zip, 7-Zip, and RAR. Outlook PST files, Apple iOS backups, and financial files such as Quicken and QuickBooks. And it's also notable that Password Kit was the first software to decrypt the APFS, and also it does support BitLocker, BestCrypt, TrueCrypt, and VeraCrypt. Now let's see how it works live. So here we have Password Kit Forensic open. What I'm going to do is set it so that we can detect encrypted files. I click on Find Encrypted Files. It takes me to where I can change my scan options. I can turn on Scan System Folders. Scan slow file types such as MS SQL, scan for encrypted containers and disk images as well as file types. I can even calculate the MD5 hash. Next, I can choose where to scan. I can choose hard drives, attached hard drives, the My Documents section of a hard drive. I can simply choose all local drives, or what I'm doing right now is selecting a specific folder. In this case, it would be like where a situation I have a suspect. I have found certain files that I want to check for encryption and I can put them into a folder on my forensic machine and set password kit to examine that folder. All I would do is select this and you can see where I can navigate to where I could look for my different folders I want to search. I'm just going to go ahead and select this entire folder and hit the select folder button. And now once I've done that in the bottom right hand corner, I hit scan. It takes a few moments and then begins the work and we can now see all the files it did detect as being encrypted. First you can see the file name, then we can see the folder it found it in, and probably my favorite part of this page is where I can see the complexity. I can take and sort by that complexity level and I would do this because I want to put the simplest complexities and easiest ones first. That way, if it finds that password inside of that attack, we all know that many suspects use the same password over and over. Well, if I found it in one of the easier ones, it is now a known password that can be used against the more difficult ones. We can continue to look and see where I also have different options, like where maybe hardware acceleration is possible, and even maybe a rainbow attack would be possible on that certain type. We also have protection flags, your document type, and even when that file was modified. Now at the bottom, you'll see where I could just press the button recover passwords and it will go to work on these files in that order that I have it sorted by the complexity right now. And another thing I really like is where I can click on copy to folder because now I can take and copy just these encrypted files to a folder and I can have password kit running on just those files in just that folder and I don't have to have an external drive attached because obviously there's a small amount of information in this folder for this search and it makes it easier for me. Now let's talk about the password recovery. We have several different types, instant file type password recovery, a simple password recovery, and password kit pre-built dictionaries for more complex passwords. The instant file type password recovery is an instant recovery or removal for dozens of file types. We have a simple password recovery, which we will see in a moment. And we have the password kit pre-built dictionaries for more complex passwords. There are two sets available. The first one is a large dictionary with over 2.5 billion passwords. The next one is a smaller dictionary with approximately 500,000 passwords, but this dictionary comes with optional attack settings that could be applied to this dictionary to produce about 4.5 billion passwords. 
And you can see where we can find these dictionaries is when I log into my account, they have the free dictionaries and both of them can be downloaded right through the Password Kit login page. Now, I'm going to use Password Kit to recover a password for a file. I'll select Browse for File, and I'll select my file that I want to attack. I hit Open, and we can see I have predefined settings, Run the Wizard, or my advanced customized settings. I'm going to select that. I select this, and you will see the different attacks that can be run against this file. I'm going to leave it as it is and hit Recover. Once I do that, you will see it starts running different attacks against this file. And what we see is after about a minute and a half, it was able to find my five character password. And one great thing about this is if I wanted to go ahead and copy that password, all I have to do is click on it and you can see where it will go ahead and copy that to my clipboard. Next, let's talk about memory analysis. Password Kit can analyze a memory image for an instant decryption of an encrypted disk. Now, what types are supported? First off, the RAM. This is not part of the hard drive, so you would need to do a memory image, also known as a RAM dump. The other two are the hybrid file and the page file. The hybrid file being the file where the RAM is placed into when the machine goes into hibernation mode. And the page file is a virtual RAM of lesser used applications that are removed from the RAM and put into here. Both of these are part of the hard drive, but they are both system and hidden files. Now let's see it work as well. Once again, here is Password Kit Forensic. I'm going to select Memory Analysis. On this page is where I can navigate to either my image of my RAM, my RAM dump, or that page file, hybrid file. All I would do is navigate to that location and grab an image file. On this one is going to be a Mac memory image. Over here, since I'm doing a Mac image, I'm going to turn off Windows user. Had this been a Windows image, I would turn off Mac user. So we all want to leave the rest of them turned on and I hit the next button. And what will happen is a password kit will start to go through and analyze that memory and try to find our passwords and our encryption keys. And as we can see, when it finishes, password kit found numerous different types of passwords in that Mac image. As we can see, the account passwords, you have test user and John Doe, and there's your passwords. Down here, you even see how it has website passwords from the Apple website, Google, Facebook, and you'll see the usernames and the passwords right beside of it. And once again, if I do want to copy one of these passwords out, especially a more difficult one, all I need to do is click on it, and you can see how that now copied that to my clipboard. Now, let's talk about a custom dictionary and keyword list attack. A custom dictionary, this is an attack that uses words based on the examination. Where would you get this information? Information about the target himself or herself, forensic tools that can export a case keyword list, or even a review of a memory image. Now, an example of such dictionary list based would be of capital cities. For instance, this one that I have generated for this. And we can see that this is simply a long text document with all of the different words on each line. And it continues on down the screen. This would be of a situation where we know for a fact that the suspect uses a city as his password. Now let's see it work live. Here we are back at Password Kit, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to a file, this one right here. I'm going to say open, and now I have my predefined settings, the wizard, or the customized settings. If I'm going to change my dictionary, I'm going to go into customized settings, select this, and these are the attacks that it can do on that file. I'm going to remove 
all of them, and create my own attack. So once I do that, I'm going to use a dictionary attack. And for my dictionary, I'm going to use that special capital dictionary. If I go ahead and open this, you'll see all the dictionaries already inside of Password Kit. And you can even see that I already have the capitals dictionary in here, but I'm going to go ahead and load it so you guys can see it. So I'm going to hit Custom Dictionary. I'm going to navigate to that text document with those capitals list. I'm going to go ahead then and compile this. Now, when it's ready, I will say Add Attack and then Recover. And in just eight seconds, we can see that Password Kit was able to go and find my eight digit password based upon that dictionary attack. And again, once again, I can always click on this to copy it to the clipboard.